Today's lesson will be on electrons and where they're positioned around the nucleus of an atom. The picture here on my left is an atom and in here's the nucleus. In the nucleus you'd have protons and neutrons and around the nucleus we have electrons. On the right I have boxes. In each box is a symbol for an element where you will draw a dot for the nucleus of the atom and then you're going to draw little X's that represent the electrons that orbit that nucleus. Today I'm going to show you how to build the carbon atom and the electrons that orbit that nucleus. If you take a look at your periodic table, I can find the element C for carbon. In the upper left hand corner is the 6. The 6 is the atomic number that tells us carbon has 6 electrons that orbit the nucleus. Let's first use little plastic chips to make a model of a carbon atom and the electrons that orbit the nucleus. You have a cup with little chips in it. You can dump them out. In the middle is your nucleus. We're not worried about the protons and neutrons right now. We're just going to position the electrons in these little orbits called shells. Carbon has six electrons that orbit the nucleus. One, two, three, four, five, six. The inner shell the K shell can have only two electrons. That's why there are only two spaces you could choose from for the electron. The L shell that surrounds it can have two, four, six, eight electrons in it. I only needed four of those spaces. You just built the carbon atom that shows us that there are one, two, three, four, five, six electrons that orbit the nucleus. The last thing you need to do is to draw this model on your paper with your dry erase marker. Find your box C for carbon. Okay. I'm going to draw the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. The atomic number of carbon is six. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six protons. I'm going to draw one, two electrons in that K shell, and then three, four, five, six, the other four in the L shell. You can use your chart and your knowledge of the carbon atom to draw dots that represent the number of protons.